Alright, what's up people? It's your camera boy Jonah and today I kind of wanted to try something different. As you maybe know, most of the time I shoot people. But actually, this building right here, it's a bit overexposed now, I'll show you in a second. Kinda inspired me to try out something different today. I saw this building here on the streets. You know what? Maybe I should try out street photography. In some way, I'm kinda not even sure what to call it. Is it gonna be like urban photography, street photography? I don't know. And you know, I've got this lens, this Sony 85 1.8 that I haven't used that much yet. Let's maybe actually only shoot with this lens. And then maybe like tomorrow, I will shoot everything with my 35 1.4 Canon. So it's gonna be kind of like a test to see what lens I like the most for this kind of style. And actually it's also kind of like a challenge, especially with this lens. I'll have to move around a lot more to capture different images. I'll maybe give myself some assignments. So the first one is to shoot that building from as many different angles as possible. You know, cause like uh, a touristy picture would just kind of be here and you know, like take the picture as close as possible from the thing here but I will try to find some spaces that will give more like a dimension to the image so like maybe some buildings in the foreground or you know some different heights maybe let's see what I come up with so the first picture that I tried to take was kind of like in between these buildings here but I don't know I don't really like it that much it's Okay, but I still want some more context to the picture. Like, as you can see, it has this kind of iron thing here, and I used it to kind of frame it. Still looks kind of pretty ochre, to be honest. Let's check some other point. Now I took some with these bushes as a foreground element, but to be honest, it still looks kind of whack. It's not bad, but kind of mediocre. If I walk some streets over there, I'll have a higher point of view and I think that will be better. I'm really pretty sure I need to go somewhere higher up in the city to get like a better uh, shot. So I'm actually just like 100 meters more like this direction and I already start to like it a bit more, especially when I walk a bit more back. And then I could see like the cars as well, which has more like the mix between like the nature and urban vibe that I want. Cause like only the trees in the building it's not really my vibe. I think I would like to give the picture more like an urban feel than like too much nature. So let's even get more back up in the city. I was actually taking some pictures with like this thing as like a foreground element and then you have there another foreground element and the trees were kind of like a frame around it. It would have been quite perfect if the branches were like a little bit higher because now they were in the face of the person so Almost, almost there. Okay, I think now we're getting there because now we have the building there, some trees there, some electricity wires there, some other buildings, and then the cars and some people passing by, which is more kind of like the urban mix of like people and cars, a little bit of the nature, and then the building is like the focus point of the image. Let's try to get some shots here and uh, we'll see. Well actually I think I found a frame that I really like, it's like this red light here, this building and then it pops really nice in the middle of it, so let's uh, try that out. So I saw this yellow typical Ukrainian bus uh, waiting at the stop sign, so I thought that would be like a good moment to take some pictures when it took off and like passed the building. They're not perfect, but it kind of adds something to the picture, I guess. So I'm uh, gonna go even more up high, because I think the more I go up, the more elements of the city I can I can have involved in like the picture. Now oh, I'm shooting from way up here. It's kind of cool with like this. That's like a leading line towards the building. But on the other hand, it's, uh, I don't know, I thought it was kind of boring, so I waited till like a guy passed and he was actually on his phone. 
Which I kind of dig that he was just like on his phone and not looking to the camera or something because it gives like this kind of real natural street vibe to the picture. But still it's kind of like blah. So uh, let's try to move to some other direction of the street maybe to get like another angle of the building. Alright so I'm at the spot now where actually like a lot of these yellow buses pass. So I have the building in the background and I kind of want to wait for like the right moment when one of these buses passes. And it's kind of like under the head of the, the child on the building. So for this I put my camera in like high speed so I can just like, when I see the bus going like that, I'll just do like single, single focus, you know, one time on the building and then I'll just keep shooting till the bus is gone and hopefully it's somewhere at the right moment in the right place in the picture. So my shutter speed was at 1 over 500 and I just noticed that apparently that wasn't enough to like freeze the cars. Uh, but also it didn't give them like a lot of movements. Or I want the cars like frozen or I want to have kind of more like a lot of motion blur. So I'm going to play around with maybe shooting 1 over 1000 and then maybe shooting 1 over 50 and I'll show you guys the difference. Alright, so 1 over 1000 was apparently enough to like freeze the car uh, and 1 over 50 is good to have like the motion blur. Sadly, I kind of have like a shaky hand, so it's kind of hard for me to keep the shot, the shot steady. So I don't have like blur from like shaking the camera on the building. You could fix this by uh, using a tripod, but I don't have one with me. So I'm just gonna try to really relax, take a deep breath and then click the shutter button. Let's actually use this part card here now as a foreground element because like the building is like uh, white and black and this car is white and black so it will give like a nice overall color scheme to the picture so uh, yeah let's try it out. Ooh, we've got a company guys it's JC and he just bought like a super chill scooter. Let's uh, do a creepy nice and slow zoom into him. Actually this looks cinematic as fuck man. <laughs> Get a G7X for the win. <laughs> yeah actually uh, to do some uh, street photography this thing is probably pretty fucking awesome. So JC is gonna take me to the next spot to uh, Shoot the scoot building scoot over there with the scoot scoot. Nee, dat is niet gemaakt voor twee. Dat is echt niet gemaakt voor twee. Die batterij gaat met de kop staan. Goed. Ik heb nog niet een tijd. Alright, it's uh, not made for two people, but uh, I think it's time uh, to. Wrap it up. Wrap it up and uh, go edit some stuff. This is JC by the way. Here we go baby. <laughs> if you haven't checked out our vlog channel yet, I'll uh, link it down in the description. There we do more kind of like a vlog style of photo shoots. So it might be fun to watch. Something more like this, or, yeah, like this. Uh, yeah. This is a fucking app workout, man. <laughs> Doing like crunches. <laughs> okay, now look up.
yeah I think I have some cool pictures of the building I wanted maybe to do like one or two more spots but well yeah it's getting dark and kind of need to edit some stuff <laughs> I'll check the pictures with you guys together when I, when I edit them on my laptop because I'm kind of curious never first time I shoot buildings it's also gonna be the first time that I edit buildings so uh, this might be fun or maybe not <laughs> catch up later I just noticed that some night vibes might actually also be cool so I'll have this video where I'll but I've tried it out for the first time then I'll try it out at night for the second time with like the same lens and then I'll do the same thing with like my 35 1.4 millimeter so uh, 